Five Minute Mystery. Bill? Hmm? Bill, what's the matter? You've scarcely said a word all the way home. What do you want me to say? Just that we're still friends. Everything will be just the same in spite of the fact... In spite of the fact that you've changed your mind about marrying me? Oh, Bill, please. It's just that I need more time. Isn't it better to make sure now? After we're married, it would be too late. But how can a girl... Oh, well, I, I guess I can take it. Here's my house. Is this going to be our last goodbye? Oh, Bill, it's not that bad. We're still going to be the same. At yeah, least I hope... Sparkers, stick them up. What? Bill! Hand over your wallet, fella, and that purse, lady. Hey, what's this all about? Don't mind to talk, buddy. Just do as you're told. Lady, I'll take that jewelry. I've got my rings. Please. I said... <laughs> And that's how it happened, Inspector. He just stepped off the curb out of nothingness, and, and before I knew what had happened, he'd shot her. It was terrible, Inspector. When I got to the car, my daughter was dead. Well, how soon after the shot did Mr. Larson ring your bell, Mrs. K? Oh, it was a very short time. Uh, tell me exactly what happened after that. Well, Bill was standing there white as a ghost. He muttered something to me. Something like, Mrs. K, Helen's been shot. Call the police. And uh, you did? I made the call, Inspector, and Mrs. K ran out to the car. At first, I... <laughs> I couldn't believe that she was really dead. She just seemed to be sitting there, quiet like in the car. Even when I opened the car door... You mean there was no sign of a wound? I didn't see it at first. I started to take her hand and speak to her. But it was already cold. And then I saw a pool of blood in the middle of the front seat. And knew she was dead. Please, Inspector, I think Mrs. K has taken just about as much of this questioning as she can take. I'm all right, dear. I won't rest until this whole thing is settled. Until the man who murdered my daughter is behind bars. I understand how you feel, Mrs. K. And I'm happy to say I don't think you'll have too long to wait. Sir, what do you mean, Inspector? You mean they found some clues? Not only clues, Mr. Larson. We've found the murderer. It's been right under our nose the whole time. Are you trying to be funny at a time like this? Hardly, Mr. Larson. What do you mean by that statement, then? Just this, Mr. Larson. I'm arresting you for the murder of Miss Helen K. <laughs> How did Inspector Clark know that Bill Larson had murdered Helen Kay? Do you know the clue? In a moment, we'll hear. And now, back to our mystery. Mr. Larson, you were insanely jealous over that girl. When she told you that she had fallen for someone else, you couldn't take it. Besides, your fake story had a hole in it a mile wide. You said that the murderer stepped off the curb while the car was parked in front of Helen's house. That would be on Helen's side of the car. But Mrs. K testified, and I can verify it myself, that the blood stains were in the middle of the seat. If the shot had come from Helen's side of the car, as you said, the bullet wound would have been on the right side near her door and not in the middle of the seat, the side nearest you. Come on, Larson, you're going for another ride. But this one will be your last.